Are you an organized hoarder? Well, I'm gonna tell you if you are. <laughs> Hello, I'm Judy the Organizer and creator at Rescue My Space. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you what organized hoarding is and how you can prevent yourself from becoming an organized hoarder. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Y'all know I gotta bring in some dancing somehow. <laughs> Before we continue, make sure you like this video. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Bele. <laughs> so first and foremost, what is an organized hoarder? So the definition of an organized hoarder is a hoarder or a person who doesn't live in its own mess, instead hoard things in a very orderly manner. So to simplify this, an organized hoarder is an individual who would rather not allow their hoarding tendencies um, accumulate around them as we probably have seen in like the show Hoarders Buried Alive. Rather, they disguise their hoarding tendencies behind organizing products. An organized hoarder does like to organize their belongings and they like the idea of an aesthetically pleasing place but a lot of the items that they are hoarding or holding on to are things that have no value. So basically clutter. And you do find this a lot in like beauty gurus who like to hoard or hold on to makeup. We tend to find it to be aspirational when we see an organized makeup room because we see their makeup organized and beautiful bins and clear drawers and we're like, oh my gosh, this is so organized, it's so beautiful. When in actuality, a lot of the makeup that's in there, they don't even use. It's just clutter, it's just there. And this is the same with fashion gurus. They hold on to clothing items that they don't even find value. It's just to kind of have it there. And a lot of times, even though their space looks aesthetically pleasing, it's organized in an aesthetically pleasing way, a lot of the stuff that they're holding on to, they don't even use, it's just clutter. So how do you prevent yourself from becoming an organized Order. So one tip is to avoid buying organizing products. So when it comes to organized hoarders, their thing is to disguise their items behind organizing products because they like creating an aesthetically pleasing space. So if you don't need to buy organizing products, don't buy it. I always say organizing products aren't necessary. The only reason why they're good to use is because they do help you maintain a space because they create a designated place for your things, but I don't think it's necessary. As I mentioned in my organizing levels video, organizing level one is organized. It's just that there were no organizing products in the space. That's why I always say it's not necessary, but I do get it because trust me, I love organizing products as I just created a video showing you guys organizing products recently. So they do help, I do believe they help, but you don't have to go out and buy them first before you decide to organize a space you have to first declutter it, which is tip number two. You need to declutter your space more often. And the reason why I preach about decluttering is because I do find it important to not hold on to things you don't want. And if you're repetitive with these actions of decluttering, you're going to find out that you really don't need to organize. The less stuff you have, the less you have to organize, which is why minimalism is a thing. So I would suggest that you declutter your home at least, at least, three times a year, so basically every quarter. If you organize a space and you find that it's a bit difficult to keep it organized, you may need to declutter more often, more so like six times a year, which means one time every two months. So yes, the more that you declutter, the less things you have in your home, thus you don't need to organize, thus you prevent yourself from being an organized hoarder. So the third tip, which is probably my favorite, is do not buy things you don't need want or find valuable. Trust me, I understand how difficult it is to stop from buying things. If you watch this video to the end, you probably have come across a few ads and in those ads, they're telling you to buy things. They're telling you to buy this product that may make your home work better, that may make you feel happier, but in actuality, if you don't deem it as important as valuable, do not buy the item. I myself always promote items. I always tell you, this product worked for me. This organizing product is my favorite, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you need to buy it. I always believe that if you feel that it's a product that you've been looking for that may work for you, then sure, take a gamble, buy it. But if it's not, just because it's pretty, just because I mentioned it, doesn't mean you need to buy it. 
make sure it works for you first before you pull out your credit card, before you pull out your cash and buy these items. Do not fall victim to this because that's pretty much what society is. We're gonna go there, we're going there. We tend to just buy, 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 buy without thinking and without considering what these items are gonna bring into our homes, which a lot of times is clutter. We get instant gratification from shopping and by the time we bring that item home, we don't even care about it. We hang it up and we never see it ever again. So be mindful when it comes to buying things. And this also goes one and the same when it comes to accepting gifts. I always talk about don't accept gifts you don't want or need because a lot of times these gifts become clutter. They sit in your space, they collect dust, and now you feel bad to even let it go because it was given to you by your favorite grandma. Do not do this to yourself. I myself am a respectful returner. If I don't want the item or deem it as valuable, I won't accept it. I respectfully decline it and say, no, thank you. I know some people may look at that as, oh my gosh, what, why? But honestly, if it's not gonna bring any kind of value into my life, into my home, it will not go into my home. Because at the end of the day, this stuff that you're bringing into your home, into your life, is just shit. So let me know in the comment section below if you've ever heard of an organized hoarder, and if you have, do you think you are an organized hoarder? Let me know in the comment section below. You already know what time it is. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And thank you so very much for watching this video. And as always, I'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye.